G'day, Rob Douglas here. Johnny Young is a household name in the music industry in Australia for, for many years. He's a member of the ARIA Hall of Fame, the Logies Awards Hall of Fame. He was host of Young Talent Time for many years and uh, is well known around Australia. Uh, I caught up with Johnny Young at a special Remembrance Day concert in the Perth Hills, organised by the Kalamunda sub-branch of the RSL. Why don't you come with me and uh, let's meet Johnny Young. Why are Remembrance Day's events like this important to you? Ah, oh, well, yeah, you know, Normie Row more than anything. Oh, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, a tribute to Normie Row. Give him a big round of applause. He really wanted to be here for you. And, and you've, got to, you've got to dance because here it is. Yeah, Normie's been a mate of mine forever. And, uh, I, you know, we, we, we've been friends since he came out of the army. He still has problems with it from time to time. So, you know, I do whatever I can. Mentoring was a really important part of uh, Young Talent Time. And the yeah. industry's changed a lot now. What, what's the role of mentoring today? Well, I can only go on my own experience. And when I was 14, starting out singing with bands, um, uh, I, I had uh, Bruce Wishart, who was our manager, and I had a mentor, you know, who, who got me the job hosting Club 17 on Channel 7. But it, it, it all happened through mentors, through Bruce, Bruce Wishart, Max Bostock, all those wonderful people who were at Channel 7 at the time. I was just a kid, I was 17, you know. And uh, so, you know, I got a lot of support. So mentoring is a part of what I do because it was always done for me. So mentoring is, I think it's a part of, of show business, you know. You, you no, no, no mentors, no opportunity. Close your eyes. From 1971 to 1988, Johnny Young produced and presented the popular television show Young Talent Time, which launched the careers of many young pop stars, including people like uh, Danny Minogue, Jamie Redfern and Tina Arena. Because remember, the kids were with me for six years. You know, they, they, they usually started when they were about 10 and then they finished by the time they were 16. But they were with me for six years, so people formed relationships with them. Whereas the, you know, the voice and those things where you get one shot at it and that's it. You must feel very proud of yeah, the people you've seen who yeah. moved on. Yeah, very proud. Number one record, it was recorded in A Street in Perth in 1965, 55 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And it was my first gold record and it was a huge hit for me and recorded right here in Western Australia. And you'll remember it because you got to clap along with it. You ready? Here we go. Johnny Young has brought joy to generations of music lovers and he's shown the importance of providing leadership by supporting young people and helping them to discover their talent and further develop those skills. There's motivation there for anyone who seeks to be a leader in their field. years ago. I was only three at the time, but I remember it well. 